the diagram on the right shows sector OAB. So we have OAB with sector with center O and the another sector PAQ. So we have PAQ here with center A. So one center O, one center A, alright, is given that OB is 6 cm. So OB is 6 cm. OP is equal to AP. OP is equal to AP. Okay, this is a midpoint. So we see here this is 6 cm. So if this is the midpoint, so we know that this is 3 cm and this one is 3 cm. Right, PAQ is 0 0.5 radian. Okay, PAQ and the arc length AB is 4.2 cm. Okay, it's given in here. So, calculate the value of theta in radian. So, it wanted us to calculate the theta. So, we know when talking about arc, when we are talking about arc, we are talking about S, where S is equal to R theta. This is radius and this is angle in radian. So now it wanted to find theta in radian. So here we take out the formula. So theta is equal to s divided by r. So s is the arc. So the arc here is 4.2. And then the radius of the sector we know already the radius is ob which is 6 cm. So 4.2 divided by 6 we get 0 0.7 radian. So, the area of the shaded region in centimeter. So, we see here the shaded region is this here. So, we can find the area of shaded region by taking the larger sector. So, area of the large sector, the bigger sector or area of B or A minus area of the small sector which is area of P A Q. So, the formula to calculate area of sector A is equal to half R square theta. We need to know the radius. We need to know what is the angle. So, you see here, uh, we know what is the, this one is 0 0.7 radian. So, here we also know 0 0.5 radian. So, half. So, the radius, we know this one is 3 and this, this one is 6. So, we know all the formula needed to calculate. So, area of the last sector is equal to half R. The radius is 6, 6 square. So, theta is 0 0.7. So, area of PAQ or smaller sector is equal to half. The radius is 3 square. And this one is the radian is 0 0.5. So, you minus these two, you will get So here you will get 12.6 cm square and here you will get 2.25 cm square. So 12.6 minus 2.25 you will get 10.35 cm.